when she cancels on you, what should you do? And I'm going to be taking you through a text example that I had with a woman. And uh, the text example goal for this is to give you the best way for a man to handle when a woman cancels. And I capitalize the word man for a reason. Because the real men handle things in a masculine way. The pussy boy men that we see a lot uh, in today's society handle it emotionally in a feminine way. So the purpose of this is so that women will stop canceling on you in the future and that you won't come off as one of those betamon pussy boys if she cancels on you. Anytime a woman cancels, it shouldn't throw you off or ruin your mood. Strong, high-status men aren't phased by things like this and don't give off needy or desperate energy ever. So let's get into the example here. So here's how it started. And her and I were going to be hanging out this night that you're seeing this text. Uh, and she is the gray, I am the blue. So she said, been better. I have a migraine. What are you up to? And that was at 7.45 p.m. I think we were going to hang out probably around 9 p.m. That's usually when I hang out with women. And she was just going to come over to my place. She had done it before. Uh, and then I said, just got back from the gym. Dang, does weed help migraines with a little uh, pumpkin smiley face? And then she replied and said, I think so. I don't even know where you live anymore. How upset would you be if I asked for a rain check? My head really hurts and I just want to go to bed. So yeah, uh, she hadn't hung it. She hadn't came over to my new place yet at this point. So she didn't know where I live um, at this point. It had been a while, but she was just in town and wanted to hang out. Um, she was in town for the weekend or something. So here is kind of the test here. Um, when a woman cancels or says something like, how upset would you be? Now, it's not necessarily like in an automatic conscious test that she's putting you through. It's not like she's like, well, I'm going to bail on Adam and see how, he's, how he handles it. But when we talk about women put men through tests all the time, it's like they gauge how you respond to things. It's not always set up as a test, but the way that you respond to events like this, if it comes across and you came across as like desperate or needy, then that hits her and it like... um. You know, it like uh, sends a warning sign to her and then she's like, whoa, I don't like how he handled that. So in that case, it becomes a test, but it doesn't always start out consciously as one. Just to point that out to uh, some of you guys, because some guys really believe that, like the women set these tests up intentionally. And sometimes they do, but a lot of times it's more of when you react in a um, way that, you know, throws her off, then she's like, ooh, I don't like how he handled that. But it's not always know a, a conscious test but anyway how upset would you be if I asked for a rain check my head really hurts and just and I just want to go to bed now I'm going to show you how I handled this and this is the you know the idea of of how you want to handle these things in the future I responded I took eight minutes to reply um, again that goes back to mirror texting she took well she replied within the minute to my text and then she sent me another one four minutes later so anyway I don't I gave I gave it a little bit of breathing room, but eight minutes um, reply back and it said, hey, if your head hurts, you got to take care of you. I totally understand. Now, I didn't put exclamation points. I didn't put all these smiley faces. I wasn't like, well, I hope you feel really, you know, really good soon and all that stuff, right? I gave her just enough and I didn't come off as desperate or needy. So think about this, guys. You're always sending a message. That's one of the biggest things about texting that guys don't realize is everything about the texting, everything you do sends a message. How many emoticons you put, how much you put exclamation points, whether you put punctuation or you don't, how quickly you reply to her, how how long your replies are due. All of these things paint a picture that makes women either attracted to you or repelled by you. So you're always sending a message. Now just think about the message I said. Am I communicating that her canceling on me is a big deal. 
Am I getting upset and going, and I, I'm just telling you guys the truth, in the past, I probably would have been upset, like way back in my earlier days, if I had set up a you know a date with a girl, I'd want to be like, well, you just canceled on me last minute? Can't you just come over and you know we'll, we'll be fine with your headache or whatever? It's like, over the years, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. You cannot convince women to spend time with you or to want to be around you. You can only, you know, play your game and play it the right way. And then um, kind of like we always say with, uh, you know, she's never yours. It's just your turn. It's like, just understand this about women. You can never control them. So um, understanding how to reply and how to handle situations like these Make it so she always chooses that she wants to come back to you. And then at that point, then you can decide whether you're going to put up with that or not, whether you're going to allow her to hang out with you again or not. But if you react emotionally, you will never win with women. So am I communicating that I need to see her and my whole day is ruined now that we can't hang out? Again, with that energy, does that come across to you guys at all that my day is ruined? I didn't give her a lot, right? I said, hey, do your, you know, do your thing. I totally understand, but I'm not being a pussy boy about it. And uh, I'm not being a total dick about it either. I'm just um, emotionally neutral about it. Women that feel controlled by a man naturally want to rebel. Women that feel free by a man naturally want to come back. Again, this is that whole idea. She's never yours. It's just your turn. When you understand that and you just can can play it cool and no big deal, um, women will feel free and then they'll want to come back to you. This is why you can get women that will hang out with you for years and years on end when you don't have any type of established committed relationship, but they still want to come back and hang out with you and they don't they won't bring all the drama and crap um, into it when you are able to just let her feel free, not trying to control her. The guys that try to control women or to try to be like, well, I can't believe you made me do this. You ruined my day. You uh, you ruined all my plans. I could have hung out with someone else if you would have told me this. Again, all of that that energy on her is just like she's going to feel repulsed and then she's going to care less and less about – she'll feel less and less bad about doing stuff like this to you in the future. And again – um, when you have an emotional reaction, part of that is winning towards women. Remember, negative attention or positive attention is a win for women. So if she knows how she can emotionally um, get a rise out of you, she knows what buttons to press when she needs to. So you want to reply in that nice, even keel uh, manner. And then uh, some guys would be worried then that if you reply in this like emotionally neutral manner that she'll feel like it's no big deal and she can cancel on you whenever she wants. So this is why being busy and holding that masculine frame, as we call it, is so important when you do this over the long period. And uh, to those of you guys that haven't read my Principles of Texting ebook yet, I will put a uh, link to the free chapter here below for mirror texting to get this idea of, of always having that busy image up. Because... Again, some guys worry that by not making a fuss, that, that that will give her the impression that she is able to cancel on you anytime because there's no penalty. A lot of guys go, well, if she th if if I just play it off cool like that, then she feels like she can just cancel on me last minute anytime. But when you always reply slower than she replies and you make her invest if she wants to hang out, then you won't run into that problem of her taking advantage of you in that way. Again, because I'm always you know, busy in the way I set things up, in the way I reply, and um, I'm never afraid to walk away, then by replying in this emotionally neutral way, it's extremely powerful because then it, it makes her feel free. It makes her want to come back. She doesn't feel controlled, but she also knows that I'm busy, and she knows that she can't just worm her way into my schedule anytime she wants. So that means that when a woman cancels on you, it's typically legitimate. Now, I again, like I've known this girl before and all that, and I, I truly believe it was legit because she's had migraines, but either way, it doesn't affect me. Uh, but then watch how she replies. Thank you. I'm sorry. I need to go to the doctors. I've had a migraine every day for two weeks now. I called out of work Thursday because uh, the one I had hurt so bad I was nauseous. I promise we will hang out soon and I'll bring Starburst, Girl Scout cookies, weed, 
whatever you want. Now again, I've hung out with her before. This is a girl that will bring me stuff. She'll bring me bottles of wine. She'll bring me Taco Bell. She'll bring me stuff like Starburst. Um, she'll like write cute notes for me. She'll draw pictures for me. All that stuff. Again, why does she do that? Because it's not a choice. I'm not making this uh, an emotional like. Uh, I'm not being emotionally needy and all that crap. Again, when you when you make a woman feel free, she wants to come back. And then when she wants to come back, she also doesn't want to lose that so then she rewards a man like that with gifts or with um bringing stuff over um and said and like again i wasn't planning on taking her out on a date i don't know i don't think i've ever taken this girl out on a date she just came over many many times and usually she brings stuff to me so anyway guys um that was an example because i know that this will happen uh women will flake out or cancel on you now uh it sometimes it's legit uh, a lot of times it's not legit, especially if you are um, giving off any needy or desperate signs in your texting, then a lot of times women will flake on you because they'll just know. They'll go, okay, I got this guy in my pocket. I can cancel anytime and he'll always be available for me. And then she'll just cancel and use you set up dates until she's, and if any other option comes along, she'll bill on you for those other guys. That again is why it's so important to follow the principles of texting so you're not giving off of that desperate or needy energy. So again, you can read a free chapter uh, below that I'll link to. And again, if you are in the VIP membership, you can download this PDF, save it uh, so you can look over it again whenever you want. And of course, watch this video. But yeah, guys, um, again, if a woman cancels on you, no big deal. You should always have something lined up uh, to where um, you're comfortable being alone for the night. You're comfortable doing your own thing. Uh, it gets to the point now, and it's funny, like this is, uh, I get, you know, guys that I spend time coaching with and we, you know, talk about this pretty frequently, uh, you know, they end up getting the same type of energy or mindset as well. It's like to the point where a lot of times we'll have dates set up and it's almost like part of us deep down are almost hoping that the girl cancels or has to do something because we're just kind of like, okay, I, I got a book I kind of want to read. Uh, I got a project I want to work on. Man, I, I really have some stuff I want to get done tonight. So it's funny. When your energy becomes that, then that's like the abundance mindset, and you'll just find that women just flock after you, and they want to spend time with you. It's like when you don't need her to be with you, she wants to be with you. So that was one more, uh, yeah, just a little example. When she cancels on you, handle it cool, no big deal, no problem. But then again, after you do that, it's important that then you don't like text her back and be like, hey, how are you doing? And, and checking in on her and all that. Like if she cancels on you, uh, I, I guess I got to, you know, really cement this one home. When she cancels on you, don't forget that. Keep that in the back of your mind. I make her work harder than if she wants to hang out with me again. She cancels on me. No big deal. I don't react emotionally, but she's going to get the impression by the way that I'm going to text her in the future that, uh, it's going to be harder for me to set up a date with her. She's not going to just be able, be able to like text me and be like, "Hey, what about tomorrow? Can we hang out? You know, can we hang out now?" Like I'm going to make her work now and I'm going to make her really show me that she's earned a spot in my schedule if she does cancel on me. But again, the way I do that is by responding slowly and re responding with um, less energy. I don't do it by telling her. I don't say, "Hey, you're in trouble now and now you're going to have to work really hard." I don't scold her like that because, again, women will run away from that because it's going to feel controlling to her. But I just show her by the way I react, by the way I respond because, again, everything sends a message. You're always sending a message when you're texting women. All righty, guys. Let me know uh, if that made sense to you and uh, if you see stuff like this happen to you. You know, Do women cancel on you? How, do, how did you handle it in the past? Um, all right. Take care. Oh, and uh, real quick, if you do want to date, you want to date, see, I, again, I'm not saying you should date or you shouldn't date. I personally like to date women, but my basic thing is if you're going to do it, do it the right way. Hold your masculine frame. Really know how to carry yourself, and then you get women on their best behavior. If you want to learn that, my private membership is the place to be textingprints.com but either way i'm going to be here helping you guys out in whatever way i can
Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, share the video, but definitely subscribe.